So we're going to make some Moringa tincture today uh, for class. And so what I have is a quart jar, a sterilized ball jar. It doesn't really have to be sterilized, but it needs to be very clean. And I've gone out and picked Moringa leaves off of my Moringa tree. And so I'm putting the leaves. Um, with Moringa, you can tincture the flowering tops or just the leaves. And when you're doing a tincture with fresh alcohol, you really want to shove it down in there and make sure it's really, really full. So you really want to pack it in. You see how much I'm putting in here? And you keep pushing it down. The more Moringa that's in, the more, the stronger and the better the medicine. It really helps while you're making it to really think about what you're doing. That, you know, we are making a medicine that is going to be like an elixir, um, almost akin to a, a ginseng that uh, provides lots of energy, helps you at the cellular level, promotes oxygen in the body. And then we're going to take vodka. I like to use Bar Barnett's vodka. Uh, it's in a glass bottle for one thing. You know, alcohol in plastic is not so good. And so this is a glass bottle. I've tried some of the other like Taka and Smirnoff. They don't taste very good. The vodka kind of overpowers the herb. And it's bad enough to get people to take their herbs without it tasting so terrible. So we're putting vodka in here and it's filling up all the spaces in between the little leaves. And when we get to the top, we're gonna go a little bit above the foliage because when it all starts to absorb, we might need to check it in a day or two to make sure that the um, vodka is covering the tops of the earths. And these are the stems that I took off. And see with the stems, um, I'll just put these in my compost pile. Or sometimes you might want to just chew on them a little bit because the stems are really the lifeblood of the plant. That's where the nutrition comes from. Now, one last thing, we're gonna put this in a dark closet and we're gonna let it cook for at least three weeks. And I usually let mine go at least six weeks, but three weeks is the minimum. And one very important aspect of herbalism is to make sure that you put that label on there. Because believe me, you're gonna go back and think you'll know what it is and you will not, because I often have had that problem. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. I'm gonna go put it over here in my herb closet. I'm gonna step over the dog. I'm gonna put it in this dark closet over here that has lots of tinctures that are brewing. And I'll put it in there so I can remember to shake it. Okay, thank you very much.